One of the many great perks of being a lady is getting all dolled up for special events. Hair, makeup, and a great outfit are often complemented by a fresh feminine manicure to finish off your look. If a lady isn't normally one who wears professionally manicured nails, hands down, press-on nails are a better option for those who want the salon quality manicure look without the cost or commitment associated with an acrylic nail set. If applied with care, an admirer would scarcely be able to tell the difference. In this speech, I intend to educate you on the reasons why a press-on nail set is easier on your pockets, watches, and nails themselves as opposed to acrylics. To achieve this, I will highlight the differences between acquiring, maintaining, and post-wear nail care as it relates to press-on nails versus acrylics. First, let's approach this comparison from a convenience factor. Press-on nails can be purchased from any drugstore, beauty supply chain, one-stop shops like Target or Walmart, or even well-stocked gas stations. Following the purchase, because of the ease of application, a lady can decide on any time of day to which to attach her nails. If she's an early riser or maybe a night hawk, any time is a good time for an at-home nail care session. In contrast, because of the tools and materials and technique needed to safely to apply um, acrylic nails, a lady would first have to search for a reputable nail salon, travel the distance to get there, and would be confined to acquiring the, her service um, during the salon's designated hours. If she's running late, maybe she's in a hurry or um, she couldn't wait too long or needed an early morning appointment that couldn't be accommodated, her manicure would be compromised. Now that we've discussed the general ease of locating and applying press-on sets, as well as the time flexibility their application can offer, let's take a look at other aspects. A beautiful acrylic manicure can definitely place stress on your wallet as an added expense and have disastrous effects on your nail if improperly applied or removed. Next, a major difference is cost. While a pack of press-on nails, which generally comes with all the supplies you'll need, such as a nail file, a buffer, some glue, and about 20 to 24 um, varying nail sizes can cost you anywhere from four to $7, a single color basic full set of acrylic nails at a salon ranges from 28 to $35 here in the greater Houston area. Any other add-ons like a second color, maybe an accent nail, um, different designer effects, or even a desire for long nails will incur additional fees. An article posted by uh, on Bustle.com on October 30th, 2016, emphasizes that press-on nails are now offered in a wide range of lengths, designs, shapes, and colors. There are even people who create custom press-on sets for whatever unique salon quality look you're going for without having to make an appointment at one. Maintenance can also factor into the same category. Once removed, the press-on nails can be cleaned and stored for future use, or simply discarded because of their normal price. However, a $10 to $15 fee is associated with soaking off and removing acrylic nails. To maintain the set, a refill fee of $20 to $25 can be charged. If reapplication is needed for another event, another $28 to $35 base cost will be incurred. This these type of fees amount to a great financial sacrifice over time. Another important consideration is maintaining the health of the natural nail while wearing nail extensions. Press-on nails can cause very little, if any, stress to the nail bed. A gentle filing of the nail surface is all that's needed to create enough texture for the glue to adhere and securely attach to the artificial press-on nail. On the other hand, multi-step filing using electric power tools removes several layers of natural nail and then is followed by the application of an antifungal agent, a bonder, harsh chemicals within the acrylic powder and liquid before filing yet again to smooth out the hard material. Even if only applied once or every, once or every so often, this type of extensive stress can wreak havoc on nails and cause them to become fragile, brittle, and prone to breakage. If a press-on nail breaks, it simply pops off of the hand and can be reattached without much effort by applying a small dab of spare glue um, onto the nail itself. But because of the inflexibility of the cement-like substance and the extensive application process, if an acrylic nail breaks, it will be likely to tear deep into the nail bed, sometimes causing the nail to bleed, which is extremely painful to the nail wearer and I can speak from experience. Finally, sanitation is perhaps one of the greatest agents at play. Consider that though a thin bond exists to adhere, excuse me, the false nail to the natural nail surface, the presence of even a single bubble of air that comes into contact with moisture from hand washing, swimming, bathing, doing laundry, washing dishes, etc., can create a perfect environment for the growth of a fungus that, if undetected, could attack the nail bed and spread compromising the nail wearer's health. Because press-on nails require no heavy bonding or long-term commitment, 
they will most likely detach from the nail if repeatedly um, exposed to water. An acrylic nail wearer will not likely know that she has a fungus at all unless she experiences itching at the nail surface due to the fact that the color, unless sheer or clear, uh, is selected, will hide what lies beneath the surface. In closing, when all of these factors are considered, those salon applied acrylic nails are beautiful when first applied because of cost, convenience, maintenance requirements, and safety involved, I am myself and encourage others too to become members of the Press On Nail Nation. Thank you.